Hi all, we're taking a look at Mendeley now. Uh, Mendeley is a product that I've used for a while. I've done a couple videos previously and a couple write-ups about it, uh, but it was time to revisit uh, how far Mendeley has really grown and how awesome of a product it is. What I've described Mendeley before as is, in my words, it's almost like a, a social network and iTunes for your research. Okay, so basically we're looking for people that would read a lot of research, you know, we had we'd save a lot of documents. You know, I have about 2000 I think PDFs of doc, of research documents on my computer and it gets to be a little bit unwieldy. So if I go to mendeley.com, I'll see this is um, you know, my social network stream, I guess. It's almost like the the people that I read and follow on Mendeley uh, in the different groups that I'm in. I have um, you know, the my library on Mendeley right now. Uh, so this is pretty much exactly what I have saved in, in my documents folder on Mendeley. I do a lot of tagging of my work um, and I have the different groups that I follow. You can also see uh, papers that are out there right now. We have different groups um, that you can be a part of. So here's the groups that I'm a member of or the groups that I have started. Um, so I have one group right now, Central Issues and Research and New Lit. Uh, there's 25 papers, 25 members. I'm going to be editing that over the next couple weeks. Uh, and then I have the people that I follow or that follow me, um, different groups that, you know, people that I'm connected with. What you can also do is you can uh, download Mendeley. And when you download it and let it get to work on indexing and searching through all of your documents, this is what it will look like. So you can, here's all my different documents. So here's uh, Julie's piece. I can open it up um, and I can annotate this in Mendeley. Uh, it would basically annotate it like a PDF annotator would. Um, I can put it into different groups of paper. If I, So you can see these are the groups that I also have online. So if I want to share a certain document with a group, I just add it through here. I can filter through by our authors, by tags. Um, but basically it's a really nice way to save a document and be able to get to it later, which is always a challenge. Um, plus what's also nice is you can either star documents or you can mark them as read so that um, you can figure out what stuff you haven't read yet and what stuff you need to go back to. Additionally, the, the Mendeley app for iOS and the iPads is pretty decent. So what you can do is move documents uh, you know, back and forth and, and try to get a paperless system. And then when you add files to it, it's pretty simple. It's going to go in, it's going to try and figure out what exactly you've downloaded and, and what you're trying to add in. So here's a piece that I was reading yesterday for a chapter I was working on. Um, I'm going to go in, take a look at it, and what it can do is search through and see if that's the actual document that you're looking for. So I know this is uh, the, the correct piece, I know it's the correct year. So I'm going to hit details are correct, but before I do so, I'm going to tag it, and I'm going to say this has to do with writing, um, and I'm going to also say this is cognitive apprenticeship. So these are tags that I've already established in mine, and then everything else is all set. So I'm going to say deal, details are correct, and if I wanted to right here, I could go in and I could annotate certain things. So I could annotate this piece, um, and then wherever I go, it's going to save that within Mendeley. Um, once again, here's the desktop version. Uh, I just downloaded it and set it to work on all my files. And then here is Mendeley, the online version, which it, once it syncs, and it should be pretty, pretty much automatic, it'll show the file that I just added. Uh, the last thing is what I do is I use Mendeley and I hook up all my documents. I used to use Dropbox, now I use Google Drive. So the way I set it up is my Mendeley folder is in Google Drive, that way it's syncing to all my other devices, all my other computers, and it's backed up. Um, and the way I do that, because people have asked me a couple times, is in Preferences for the file organizer. I just organize my files and I save it to my slot on Google Drive. Like I said, I used to use Dropbox and I just would sync it in the same place, in the same way, but if you take a look at it, I have, at this point, uh, how many do I have? I've got, okay, I've got about a, a little over a thousand PDFs in there. So that's Mendeley, the online and the desktop version, and it's a very powerful, very useful to, tool.